Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 126 of my Let's Play of Hama Yui Castle Meister. So, they took that forceful approach to trying to capture the castle and we got through it. So there's one last pillar that is still suppressing the castle, so we just need to destroy that. <coughs> So apparently we're quite a spectacle. He hadn't planned on being defeated, but... Well, the young people of the world are quite a terror, aren't they? Yeah, and Alvaro thinks, before we destroy this pillar and get the hell out of here, we're going to quest in coup de vance. Jeez, you still look young. So it might, it's probably a bit too early for you to be talking like an old fart. Yeah, Fia agrees, coup de vance is still young. Uh, thanks for... Chiming in there, Pia. Yeah. Anyway, Alvaro's thinking, any, in any case, if they had been serious about overpowering us, we should have lost. After all, the elves, even now, have that barrier up to be, to uh, protect the god's haze, right? After all, he, the elves here on Faro Rearos have this role to fulfill in protecting the Holy Land with that. And since that's a big role, the particular duty falls to the High Priest, Coup de Vance. But if he had that a power that could power such a huge natural and phenomenon like that. And they turned it upon our party? Well, the outcome would have been different. Okay, he says that he was defeated and were not and was not able to stop us. And he'll make no excuses about it. So, we guys tried to stand in your way, and then you guys overcame us and proceeded on your way. This is what it means for, well, the coming of a new age. Well, he's a good loser, isn't he? But, for some reason, he doesn't seem too disappointed by all this. Why is that? That's because he wasn't really trying to capture the castle here. Rather, it seems like... causing a disturbance itself was his objective. <laughs> Why do you think that? Well... You did it so heavy-handedly, and obviously, Avar had his doubts before we even started. Oh yeah, I remember that. Well, as for Intrus' royal army, they were serious about destroying the castle. Hey, come to think of it. As for the elves that they brought, well, Kurvan thought that he had gotten under Avaro's skin and Avaro was just exploding with anger, but unexpectedly, he was able to calmly register what Kurvan had said. Well, well, all the circumstances. Yeah, Avaro's a smart guy, come on. Yeah, I've already noticed during the battle. In addition to that barrier that protects the holy grounds, 
Well, the Fugia's high priest has been defeated this easily. If you were really intending to be to take us seriously as an opponent, the forces he brought were too few. He must have received the reports from the dragons as to the battle we had with them. So if he really wanted to defeat us here, he should have brought more power than the dragons did. But in the end, this is the outcome. They didn't. Now that you think back on it, the elves participating in this battle were Kudvants and a couple types of archers. Now in Truth Kingdom, they brought out the light infantry, they brought out heavy infantry, they brought out archers, they brought out mages. They were serious, yes. I don't think we defeated more than, oh, six or eight, eight or ten quite fewer elves in spite of the fact that this is where the elves live. Influence Kingdom came all the way from way down south with their army and they still fielded more people. Ah, anyway. Okay then, why didn't you fight us seriously? You wanted us to show our resistance in this. What the hell is your purpose in this? And, at the last Holy Accords, you said that the next Holy Accords would decide everything. And then you yourself went and pulled this stunt. Huh, well, it looks like he's not going to answer us in the end. Well, Avaro here has, thinks he has a pretty good grasp of what just went on. You do it pretty indirectly. Alright, what do you mean? Are you saying that there was some kind of meaning behind this battle? Well, if we continued on to the next meeting, probably we would have lost the vote again. And then how the castle should be disposed of would be decided. But Kudvans didn't want that to happen. And that's why he did this beforehand. So if, with all the representatives assembled, they had lost the vote, then our goal would have changed to protecting Fia. You recall before this battle, Avaro was thinking about fleeing the country with her and leaving the God's Haze thing behind. But Kudvance's actions here actually seem to be forcing us to be headed towards the God's Haze instead. So if in the end he wanted us to go to the Holy Ground, then in the beginning, at the Holy Accord, you should have given your assent to it. That's the simpler way of doing things. To say nothing of, you know, a battle, people dying, in theory. So, the person who acts as the High Priest of the Fuchsia Faith could not possibly give his assent in his role. Huh, that's one way to explain it. So, you forced this upon us because you acted against us to try and get us into doing this yourself. Since you came at us coercively, don't you think that your situation is also precarious because of it? I mean, if that's what you wanted, then why are you doing it like this? I mean, for our sake, even. Uh, and, as a matter of fact, we seem to remember you said specifically that you would not forgive us going to the God's Haze.
So he averts his eyes and speaks slowly. Well, to see Avar working so desperately to save his god, it called to Kudvans' mind Luda, Luda's figure, and that might be the reason. Luda, as you recall, was Avaro's mother. Thank you, Fia. Okay, Kudvant, you're not answering the question. Well, that's true. Then he shall answer the question. Since it's come to this, we do have the qualifications to hear it. So even after breaking with the dark refiners, Ruda decided to go to the holy ground. Now he shall answer that question. Wait, that wasn't the question we asked. Yeah, why are you answering that now? So she birthed the child and broke with the dark refiners. But even so, her destination didn't change. Her goal didn't change, what she wished for didn't change, and that was to save our God. Our God. That's Fiyushia, right? Mm. Interestingly, he puts our god in quotes. And he has never spoken of Fiyushia in the, those particular words up to this point. He said Fiyushia Sama, he said God, but never our god. And certainly not in the scare quotes. Anyway, Avaro's probably right. Our god is Fiyushia, right? In other words, Fuchsia is currently in some kind of trouble, and if we go into the holy ground, we might be able to solve it. That is a bad habit Avaro has to rep to run his head around things to try and speculate the truth. Okay, Avaro, he is going to correct your speculation. In order to arrive at the truth, it's necessary for you to see what's connected to the beginning of it all. God, that's a nice prelude to whatever you're going to tell us. And anyway, what's wrong with my speculation here? It's not just you, Avaro. Haha, no. <laughs> oops. So, it's not just you, Avaro. This is information that we've been deceiving the world with regard to. It's something that needs to be hidden and never spoke of. So, carve it into your heart. Hmm. And he continues. What Fuchsia has been so long hiding was not the method of manufacture of taboo that is sleeping in the holy ground. Fiusia
The god who is called Fiusia does not exist. That is where everything began. Oh, okay, that makes sense. What? Yeah, that's not right, is it? <laughs> what did he say just now? Hmm, so... This absolute god of the Fuchsia faith, which so many people believe in, that god's existence was a lie? Hmm, interesting. Well, they're trying to wrap their heads around it, and Kidvance continues. Interesting fade in. So there's no time for us to digest that information. You need to take action now. So this battle at the next Holy Accords will be, well, that this battle occurred before the next Holy Accords is going to be a big problem. And the people who will be crescent with regard to responsibility will be the Influence Kingdom Rep, Jinudin Fab, and Kudvance himself. So the convening... Boy, he gives those perfect pauses in the middle of these sentences. Anyway, the convening of the next Holy Accords is going to be hastened, and thanks to the responsibility that will be placed on us, the castle needs to get out of here before the pursuit begins. Hey, wait, what the hell's going on? We want a proper explanation. Was that really true? It is the truth. Holding forward the existence of a fictional god, they poured faith into their god. Whoever that guy is. So, you deceived everybody and gathered this faith? Well, that's not it. Fia, you said yourself it is for the benefit of everyone. Yeah, that was something she said at the Holy Accords. She didn't remember why she was going to the Gates, but she said in the end it would benefit many people, was what she thought. So you're saying that this fuchsia lie that you forged was for the benefit of the most people as well? So why would you create this fictional god and gather this faith? What we call faith is to the gods as valuable as life itself. So what it means to them is the same as their power. And for that reason, they absolutely have to avoid having their faith cut off. Well, he's saying this in a roundabout way as usual, but he's getting at something. This is the fuchsia. Well, this existence called fuchsia was made up for a particular purpose. 
その事情はわかるよ。私もやっぱり神様だから。Yeah, she agrees with that assessment. She understands how that is. After all, she is a goddess herself. She says it in nods a bit. And she looks at Avaro. Avaro? I was Alright, Avaro. Fia said that she had been sleeping for a long, long time, right? Yeah, you were sealed inside those magic stones, and when Avaro came and awoken you, awoke you, that's what you said. And in truth, recently, she's been remembering a lot of memories that she had lost and things about the past. So what's important is the remembering of these things. If it doesn't happen, it's very bad. Hmm. So, when a god has been forgotten, they find it hard to maintain their own existence. And that's why, when in the beginning, Fia herself wasn't able to wield power worthy of being called godly. Ho. Oh. It's true that no matter what historical documents we looked at, this goddess of connections wasn't recorded anywhere. And when we're talking about historical god documents Fia didn't exist kind of like Fiusia doesn't exist since she was sealed in there for so long it's almost as if her existence itself had disappeared since the, since her existence had disappeared from the hearts of men Alright, Goddess of Connections, Fia. Do you want to see your family? Your father? Hmm? Yep, father? Yeah. She kind of blurts out an answer without thinking. So she wants to see him. She wants to see him so very badly. And silently there, from her eye falls a tear. So what what? Why is she crying? She doesn't even know. So ka Naraba Yoi Mo Nani Mo Yukotua Nai. Well then that is good. There's no nothing to be said anymore. Uh I disagree. Okay, what is this what was that just now? Don't tell me you know about Fia. So yeah, Fio hasn't been recorded in any documents, but Coup Vance of all people knows something. So yeah. So go and see it with your own eyes. Already. The answer you seek is ahead of you. Alright, 
聖地へ押し入ってみせよ。So go and try to break the barrier, our barrier, and using the taboo weapon with the god sealed inside it, thrust into the holy grounds. Hmm. God damn, you are one obstinate bastard of a grandfather. All right. If we go, we'll understand. And if if you're saying that if we go, we'll understand, we'll go then. Abaro, so na ta wa kami o sukuu to mou shita na. So no omoi ni itsuari wa nai ka. All right, Avaro. You said that you would save your goddess. Was there any falsehood behind those words? Don't keep asking me to confirm this. I'm going to save Fia. It's a decided matter. So no mitsu no saki ni donna shogai ga aro to mo. Sore o uchikudaki kanaeru to chikaeru ka. Hmm. Can you swear that on the path before you, no matter what harm befalls you, you will break through and fulfill that? Yes, I swear. No matter what, I'm going to save her. Narabayoi. So no mama kawarazni. Susumugai. Very well then. Continue forward just like that. And he gives a bit of a peaceful smile for a moment. And he himself destroys the last monolith that was holding the castle. Ike, kishite furi kaeru na. Sona tara ga eranda michi wa ayamari dewa nai to. Sono kodo o motte shoumei shite mise yo. Go then, and absolutely do not turn back. Give proof with your actions that the path that you have chosen is not mistaken. Gah! Damn it! Fine. We're gonna do it, even though you told us to, and we're gonna get running now. Fia, let's go. Everyone, get on the castle before there are any pursuers. We need to get out of here. Wakata. Right. Got it. Ha, ha, ha. Jeez. So, in the confusion we manage of our retreat, Kudvats watches us with kind eyes, he says. So, we got in the castle and we left Farodayaros behind us. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, so, I got Mikshuana's level high enough. So now we have a sex scene, apparently. But damn that coup de vance. Huh. You know who's a nice, who is the victim we're not going to be mourning, even though she kind of deserves it? Tavo. That crazy bitch lady. I mean, coup de vance may have been all the, doing all of that. And it was all a lie, but... To Farvel, she was at least sincere in trying to kill us. That's what I don't like about Kudvans. I mean, try and kill us, sure, that's fine. But at least be serious when you're doing it. I mean, grrr. I wish I could kill him. Like right now. Like, throw everything out the window, kill that asshole. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.